introduction to numbers from 6 to 9. Hello friends, I am the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Let's see what you will learn in this lesson. Counting from 6 to 9. Today there is a religious ceremony at Choto's house. He notices a bowl of laddus kept on the table. On the other side of the table, Choto's mother is making a garland of flowers. Mom, I am feeling very hungry. Can I eat all these laddus? No son, there are a lot of laddus. If you eat so many laddus, your stomach will start aching. Oh, well, how many laddus are there in this bowl? Chotu, I am very busy right now. Count and tell how many laddus are there. Okay, mom. One, two, three, four and five. This means there are five laddus in this bowl, right? Children, did Chotu count the laddus in the bowl properly? Let us see. Very good, Chotu. Now you can eat two out of these five laddus. One and two. Thank you, Mom. So, children, like Chotu, you also know numbers from one to five, right? Let us now see how we count something if it is more than five in number. Mom, may I also help you in making the garland? <laughs> yes, why not, Chutu? But first tell me how many flowers are there in this garland? Okay, Mom. One, two, three, four, five and mm, a few more. How many more? I don't know that. How will you count the rest of the flowers? Let me help you in this. With these five flowers, if we bring one more flower, it will become six flowers. This means there are six flowers. Then if we bring another flower, then it will become seven. That means seven flowers. Then with these seven flowers, if we bring another flower, it will become eight. That means eight flowers. And then if we bring the last flower, it will become nine. That means nine flowers. So, do you understand? Yes, mom. Come on now. You count yourself and tell me how many flowers are there in the garland. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. That means there are nine flowers. Very good, Chotu. Now, it is time for the religious ceremony. Wash your hands and come quickly. So, children, can you also count till 9 like Chotu? That was all for today. In this video, we learn to count 9 flowers. In the next video, we will see some examples of numbers from 6 to 9. Till then, goodbye friends. So children, in the previous video you learned to count 9 flowers. In this video, we will compare different numbers. Today Chotu's mother is cleaning the refrigerator. She has kept all the items out of the refrigerator. Chotu comes to help her. Mom, can I help you to put all this stuff back in refrigerator? Yes Chotu, why not? First, one by one, count each item and tell the number of that item. Come on, let's count the number of these items with Chotu. Okay, mom. One, two, three, four, five and six. These are six eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. These are seven bananas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. These are eight lemons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. These are nine chilies. 
Very good, Chotu. You counted all the items correctly. Come on, now let's keep all these inside the refrigerator. So, children, did you also count the number of these items properly like Chotu? Now, Chotu and his mother are going to bring the dried clothes from the terrace. Chotu, can you tell me which one of these two wires has more clothes on them? Mm, there are six clothes on this wire and seven clothes on that wire. In numbers, seven is more than six. Therefore, there are more clothes on the second wire. Very good, Chotu. You are absolutely right. Now, let's look all the pots. Which of these pots has fewer flowers? Can you count the number of flowers in these pots and tell which flower pot has fewer flowers? Come on, let's see what Chotu answers. There are 8 flowers in that flower pot and 9 flowers in the other flower pot. In numbers, 8 is lesser than 9. Therefore, the first pot has fewer flowers. Was your answer also the same? <laughs> Very good, Chotu. Once again, you are correct. Come on, now let us take all the dried clothes quickly and go back downstairs. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we saw some examples of numbers from 6 to 9 in which we compared these numbers. In the next video, we will see some more examples and learn about some common mistakes and myths. Till then, goodbye friends. Interesting example part 2 So children, in the previous video, you compared numbers. In this video, we will look at some more examples and learn where Chotu could go wrong in understanding these numbers. Today is a holiday and Chotu is cleaning his room along with his mother. While cleaning his desk, he accidentally drops his piggy bank. The piggy bank breaks and Chotu gets excited seeing so many coins in that. Look mom, so many coins. I will buy a new toy for myself with these. Yes Chotu, but before buying a toy, you should know how many coins these are. Can you count these coins and tell me how many of them are there? Yes mom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. That means there are 9 coins. Children, did Chotu correctly count the number of coins? Let us see. Son, you did not count the coins one by one. These are not 9 coins. Come on, count them again one by one. Alright mom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. This means these are 7 coins. <laughs> yes, you are absolutely correct, dear. Come on, now write the number of these coins on this paper so that you may remember how many coins these are. Here it is, mom. Chotu, you have written 7 in reverse. It is written correctly like this. Do you understand? Yes, mom. Come on, now let us finish cleaning quickly. Can you write numbers from 6 to 9 properly on a piece of paper? Be careful not to write any number in reverse like Chotu. While cleaning his room, Chotu finds a box of many color pencils. Look mom, there are pencils of so many different colors. Can I draw a picture with them? Yes Chotu, these are 9 pencils. Take six pencils from them and draw a picture with them. Okay, mom. Chotu takes all the pencils. Children, can you tell if Chotu has taken six pencils from the box or more or less than six? Let us see. 
Hey, Chotu, you have taken all the pencils. You have to take only six pencils, son. Oh, okay, mom. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Is it okay now, mom? <laughs> yes, son. Very good. Now you make the drawing. So, children, that was all in this topic. In this video, we learned how to correctly count and write the number of objects. I hope all of you understood this topic properly. Bye, friends.